Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and you're tuning into the second part of your reading. So if you're coming into this reading and you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend to listen in on part one because you are catching the tail end of that reading and I got interrupted in the first part. So yeah, I would highly recommend to kind of just catch the messages otherwise you're missing the whole story. Uh, but we kind of left off with the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Emperor. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but as I was saying, the, the Knight of Pentacles, he, when he takes action, his action steps are committed action steps. This is someone who commits to what they say. Okay, this is someone who is invested uh, to move things forward um, yeah they're invested to move things forward in a genuine and sincere way okay this is someone who means what they say especially with the emperor here this person wants you to know that you can rely on them that you can trust them that you can depend on them maybe not to um, make the same mistake twice yeah because the judgment card here is telling me that this person has woken up to themselves or they've had some kind of epiphany you know so let's clarify let's do some clarification spirit angels and guides can we clarify the nine of cups there's the seven of pentacles you know this person really values you they really do um i feel like this person's wish right now is to make it up to you with the seven of pentacles okay they do want to make it up to you they feel that they've invested a lot of time and energy into the relationship i don't feel like this person wants to you know ruin that or let that slip away i really really don't at the bottom of the deck we have the two of wands so i i do get a sense here that this person is preparing to make plans to come towards you because you mean the world to this person in the two of wands this man is holding the world in his hands you you mean the world to this person so it's in this person's best interest it's you know it's in this person's hands what they are going to do next that determines the end result okay that determines the end result let's have a look at these three of swords yeah there's the king of swords okay i do get a sense here that there were some quarrels or there were some disputes the King of Swords can be an energy of someone who can say mean and hurtful things and it's because they are head over heart. They are detached from their emotions. They're desensitized. Okay, so I do get a sense here that this person maybe said some hurtful and um, hurtful things. And I was going to say here, Spirit wants me to say, maybe they said some hurtful, honest things. Maybe it was their honesty. Um, maybe it was their truth that was hurtful here. Um, it doesn't, me doesn't necessarily mean that they are right. Uh, but it, it could be here that they spoke some kind of truth that was very direct, that was very harsh, that has pierced your heart here. Hmm. and I see you know the king of swords this is the person that brought you the pain is the person that now wants to rectify or clear the situation okay clear it up let's have a look at this nine of swords spirit angels and guides can we clarify the nine of swords the seven of swords tells me here that this person knew what they were doing at the time they knew it wasn't nice they knew it wasn't um kind 
Okay, they knew, Seven of Swords is telling me here, this person knew what they were doing. They were aware that they were being mean. They were aware that they were being hurtful. It could have been some kind of deception or deceit, but I'm just getting here that this person was very aware of what they were doing to maybe trigger you or hurt you or put you down. But now with the Nine of Swords, they're regretting this. They're regretting this. Mm. And because you can see here this man in the Seven of Swords, he's looking to the Four of Wands. Okay, he's looking to um, he's looking to, you know, mend the bridges here. Let's have a look at these Four of Wands. Spirit, angels and guides, tell us more about the Four of Wands. Yeah, there's the Justice card, right? This person wants to bring uh, the relationship back into balance. They do. They want to bring fairness back to the relationship. They want to bring, bring, bring fairness back to the situation. Let's take a look at the Judgment card. Yeah, look at that, Two of Swords. You definitely called this person out. Libra, you may have blocked this person uh, or you may have uh, set some kind of strong, solid boundary. This is stalemate energy. This is you going, no, we are not proceeding forward. Um, this is you saying, no, I'm just getting like a hell no. It's like that, it's a hell no from Libra. Um, yeah. Let's have a look at this Emperor energy. Spirit, tell us more about the Emperor. The Nine of Swords reversed. It's interesting. And look at this, the Three of Swords reversed, flipped out as well. So the Emperor, the Divine Masculine here, I feel like they are committed to creating some sort of healing in the situation okay they want to rectify and they want to heal um, there's an apology coming in here they don't want this three of swords energy to linger mm. they're aware that they've hurt you so let's have a look and see what the animal spirit cards want to say. We're going to get some last parting messages and advice here, Libra. Last parting messages and or advice for Libra. All right, let's see here. We've got the swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. Swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. You know, so we've seen a lot of King of Swords energy coming through this reading, which is sort of like someone who is sort of far removed from their emotions most of the time because they're coming from their logical space. They're coming from their, um, their thoughts. But I'm getting a sense here with the Swan that this person is needing to dive deeper into the emotional realm, into the realm of feelings, okay? Um, to consider your feelings here because this person might be thinking off, oh, you know, what's Libra going on about? Um, but I feel like they need to come through sort of respecting more of your feelings and emotions here or consider your feelings and emotions here. Yeah, I'm just getting a sense around this person that they're needing to go there. They're, they're needing to go into the emotional realm and be more understanding, be more patient, be more kinder. Um, does that make sense, Libra? Hmm. So let's grab some Twin Flame Oracle cards to see what our spirit wants to say about this attachment. Unhealthy bonds pedestal. I'm getting Twin Flame energy here. Okay, this may be your divine counterpart for some of you. Okay, we've got trust. Okay, trust. 
So needing to listen to, yeah, look at this. Games, battle, struggle. I do feel like there was a struggle. There was a battle. There was conflict here. I want to say here um, that for some of you, this is your divine counterpart and that you need to trust that you can overcome this. Okay, and that you will overcome this. We've got independent. For some of you, it's just about knowing um, that you can do this with or without this person. Okay, standing on your own two feet, knowing your worth. You know, this is sovereign energy, the word sovereign here. Okay, being in your sovereignty, knowing your worth. Look at that, self-love honoring yourself respecting yourself and you know for the most part i feel like that's what you're doing over here that's what you're doing you're honoring yourself you're respecting yourself you're saying no more to the the fights the arguments the quarrels no more to um having this person speak down to you okay this independent sovereign energy I'm seeing like this invisible crown where Libra, you're wearing this invisible crown, you know, and you have high expectations at this point or you're setting the bar higher for this person. You're expecting more from them. Okay, you're expecting more than what you've been receiving because this is attachment, unhealthy bonds. Okay, in the recent past, there may have been like an unhealthy dynamic here. But I do want to say, Libra, with this trust card, it's about trusting that if you are getting a higher calling from spirit to love yourself, honor yourself and respect yourself, then you need to trust that that's what you need to do. Or if this is what you've been doing, I want to say, don't doubt yourself, Libra. Don't second guess yourself because you are doing the right thing. Hmm. So that's where I leave it, Libra. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if it resonated with you here today. And until next time, guys, take care.